In the space below, draw the symbol for an end gate. Just as we said before, it's important to know all the symbols of the logic gates in your syllabus. This is the symbol of the NAND gate. The correct symbol gives you one mark. Question B. Describe the action of an AND gate in terms of its inputs and output. There are two ways to answer this question. The first way is to write down the truth table of the NAND gate which includes the signals of the input 1 and input 2 and their corresponding output. We have four cases. For an AND gate, if input 1 is 1 and input 2 is 1, this will give an output of 0. Remember that the output of an AND gate is opposite to the AND gate. Input 1 is 1 and input 2 is 0. If this was AND gate, the output would be 0. That's why the output for an AND gate will be 1. The third case if input 1 is 0 and input 2 is 1. If it was an AND gate, this would give a 0 output. But because this is NAND, not AND, the output will be the opposite. The output will be 1. The fourth and the last case if input 1 is 0 and input 2 is 0. For an AND gate, this would be 0. So for NAND, this will be 1. In general, the outputs of the NAND gate are always the opposite of the outputs of the AND gate. This is one way of how you can answer this question, by writing down the truth table. Another way is to talk about what happens. Now you have three cases, not four cases. The first case if the two inputs are 1. The second case if only one of the inputs is 1 and the other is 0. The third case if both inputs are 0. We can talk about the truth table in words as follows. If both inputs are 1, the output will be 0. If only one of the inputs is 1, the output will be 1. If both inputs are 0, the output will be 1. This is another way to talk about the AND gate other than writing down the truth table. Now let's see how the mark scheme will judge this. The mark scheme says that if truth table is shown, mark the truth table and ignore the rest. This means that the truth table is enough to answer. You can also say that if only one input is 1, the output will be 1. And if both inputs are 1, the output will be 0. This is for one mark. Saying that if both inputs are zero, so the output will be one, this is for the second mark. The mark scheme also accepts high and low, or on and off, instead of one and zero. So we have one mark for the first two lines, and the last line gives us the second mark.